Hello you guys, uh, welcome to our introductory statistics class. I'm super excited to have you this semester. Uh, for this first video, what I wanted to cover were some of the kind of big ideas of statistics and kind of where we are going to be focusing on uh, this semester. So statistics is actually a very big field. There's a whole lot, lot of different uh, subsets to it, and we can focus in uh, on different parts, and we're actually going to be focusing on kind of the last two steps for this semester. But statistics generally starts off with a question. So generally, like if we're in the scientific community, we may have a question uh, about like how far is a migratory bird's path, like how many miles do they go. Maybe it's a question about you know, some insect colony, but generally we have some sort of question that we want to figure out the answer to. So after we decide that we have this question, what we do is we design an experiment. And so we need to figure out how are we going to actually answer this question. So we design some sort of experiment. Um, maybe, we, maybe we put tracking devices on a whole bunch of birds and we try to actually measure the distance that they fly, but we design an experiment to try to gather uh, this data. And once we've designed the experiment, we actually need to go and gather the data. And now, a lot of times we just say, oh, yeah, we're going to go and gather the data, but a lot of times that part is the most expensive and the hardest part. We actually got to kind of rally the troops, go and find the birds or the insects or whatever we're trying to measure, uh, and actually do the measuring. Once we've gathered our data, we have a whole bunch of numbers. We actually need to go ahead and organize it. We need to organize the data. And after we organize the data, now we're at the point where we can actually do our statistical uh, analysis, where we can actually analyze our data. Now, a lot of our class is going to be focusing on like how can we analyze the data, how can we actually look at, at um, the results of a whole bunch of this part of asking the question, the designing the experiments. A lot of times we're going to say that we're going to assume that all that is done. We're just going to focus on analyzing. And perhaps most importantly, we want to figure out how to communicate. We want to figure out how to communicate our data uh, to our audience. And a lot of times our audience is not going to know a lot about statistics, uh, but we need to be able to use our statistical analysis to be able to convince or convey uh, the message uh, that, that we have found after collecting our data and analyzing it. So for our class, our focus really is going to be on these last two. We will do a few uh, we will do a few experiments and a few get times where we're going to gather our data and organize our data. We'll dabble in that, uh, but our focus is going to be on these bottom two of analyzing and communicating. And when we analyze our data, uh, we really kind of break it down into kind of two parts. So part one is we have kind of like our summary statistics where we have like this numerical summary. Numerical summary. And then we also have a graphics. We have graphics that help us better um, help us better explain or tell our story to our audience. Because as humans, uh, we work visually a lot, and so graphics are a great way to help out. So this is kind of statistics in a nutshell. It's not the entire thing. Um, we also are talking a lot about like probabilities and we work in that fits into this as well and we will figure out and we'll work our way through the weeks uh, to be able to kind of culminate with being able to ask some interesting questions and have the tools to actually be able to perform the analysis and then be able to well communicate our results. So in statistics we generally are interested in uh, two things. We talk a lot about these, these two groups. We talk a lot about what's called the population And we talk a lot about what's called a sample. Okay, so we've got these kind of two big ideas. Now our population is, maybe we're interested in, we'll go back to this question about migratory birds. This would be like all of the geese that, that we're interested in. Maybe it's a specific species. 
and maybe we want to take a sample and make some conclusion about the population. If we go that way, where we're taking a sample and we're trying to make a conclusion about what the population is going to be, that is specifically called statistics. Now, if we know what the population is, and you're like, wait, when, when are we actually going to know what the entire group is? And there are some instances about this. So let's, let's talk about maybe rolling a dice. We know what all possible values are of rolling a dice. There's only six options. We've got one through six. We know what the whole population is. And maybe we're, we're trying to say, what if we took a sample of one, or if we rolled this dice once, what is the probability that we would get a specific value? So if we know what the population is, and instead we drop down to the sample, that is called probability. Now in this class, we are going to be focusing on both of these directions, talking about probability and also talking about statistics. In the first half of our class, we're going to be focusing mostly on probability. And the second half of class, we're going to be focusing mostly on statistics. Now there is overlap between the two, uh, but that kind of gives us an outline of kind of like what is statistics and talking about kind of the first and second half of our class.